welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be reflashing the tarantula with uh, Community Marlin firmware. So, uh, to get started, one of the things we need to do is connect the uh, controller board via USB to the computer. So, we've done that with this cable now. And one of the things that we see is uh, when we jump inside the computer is it's recognized it is COM port 6. So with that set up, we now have a connection between the computer and the printer. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go and actually download it, download an older version and we need of the uh, Arduino uh, interface and I will put this link down below. You need the 1.6.8. Uh, version. So if you use a newer version you'll get a compile error when you go to do this. So just be forewarned the newer version won't work. So now I've already installed that and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to launch it uh, if I find it here and so starting up the Arduino. So two things we're going to need. Two things we're going to need to do with this uh, being first is uh, identify the particular board for the tarantula, and then second, define the port. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select the Mega 2650, and as you can see, I've already got it selected. So if you haven't done this, you'll need to go ahead and select this. The second thing you'll need to do is select COM port 6. As you recall from the uh, device manager over here, we have COM port 6. So we've now entered that into um, the Arduino interface. So if you just click this, and you'll notice on my machine, it, it, that's the only open interface it has. So we're just going to select this. Now, I've downloaded the um, uh, Marlin community firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Marlin info file. So I have this actually in my downloads folder and so I'm going to grab this uh, now I understand this is out on a Facebook site now I'm not a Facebook fan so a, a viewer was kind enough to give me a link to his site to download it but I'd suggest going and getting this off the Facebook site now what we're going to actually do is we're going to select the Marlin info file we're just going to double click it which is going to open up another IDE window here in a second and so what we're going to do is we want to close up oh, it opened it over top of the other one so we're good so now the next thing we want to do is you want to find configuration H because one of the things you notice back there you have to take note of your uh, y-axis motor so mine is facing to the left and so where the pulley pulley faces to the right the back of the motor faces to the left so what we're going to need to do is scroll down here and invert um, that setting. So we're going to scroll down a little bit here and it's going to take a second to, to find it. And we should be getting close. Uh, here we go. So what we're going to do is you notice it has invert Y false. Well, what we're going to do is, oh, nope, I lied. So we're going to want to leave this as false. Sorry, I've already changed this. So if yours is to the right, you're going to want to make it true. So right is true, uh, left is false. So they should all read false if it's to the left. That one should read true if it's um, to the right. The other thing I want to do is scroll down here and also double check my uh, bed size uh, because now I've got the, uh, the smaller bed. Did I pass that? Might have got going too fast here. Yep, I did. So travel limits after homing. So I'm at 220, 220. These are the correct settings for my particular printer. If you have the larger bed, which I don't know what the settings are for the larger bed, but you'll have to uh, set them. So again, minus 220 by 220. So whatever they happen to be in millimeters for yours is what you need to do. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the verify to do a test compile on this. Um, Notice it's complaining that it's an older version. That's okay. You can just kind of kill that. So as you see over here, the progress indicator is compiling it. So we'll have to give it a minute or two to compile. It's okay if you get several of these messages down here as it's uh, uh, going through its uh, compile routine. Just so long as it doesn't end with any errors, that's the good thing. 
Uh, you can also see down here in the far right corner, whoops, if the taskbar doesn't cover it, you can see the settings, which processor and the COM port that it's working on, just for curiosity, kill some time while this is compiling. And it probably will take a minute. And this is also going to depend upon how fast your machine is. This is a rather slow machine. And so, okay, this is good. So it's come back and it's compiled just fine. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go up here and click this arrow to upload it. So it's going to go through the standard compile once again that uh, we just went through, but you know, because it only compiled it on the particular machine on the computer, you know. Um, but right now, what it's going to do is compile it into a binary, and then it's going to upload it. So you can see the light flashing. So you so you can see that it's uploading the binary, and then you can also see on the machine that over here in the bigger picture because I'm going to do this as an overlay um, you can see it saying uploading and again you can see the progress bar off to the side and this will take a little bit to upload because it is a rather large file now after after it uploads uh, what we're going to need to do is disconnect it now don't do this yet wait till this blue light stops and everything else I'm just kind of getting a little head and filling some time here while this is uploading but we'll disconnect it and at the time of disconnecting um, it will uh, turn this board off because right now this board and everything is actually be, being powered by the USB from the computer there is no power turned on on the power supply so as you can see from my screen we're done uploading it and everything should be set the blue light has stopped so basically what we now need to do is go ahead and we're going to disconnect this and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the the power supply to the tarantula and we're going to see what happens because now what we're going to do is we now have the uh, the new new controls uploaded so control so now we've got the uh, main setup so let's go ahead and um, Let's see. I hope I'm getting this in the frame. I uh, mean, it's a little bit different than it was before. So I'm trying to find uh, how to how to home this. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we'll home all axes. Axes, and you see the machine moving. I hope you see the machine moving. Yeah, you see the machine moving. So it's uh, going to run through its its setup. So anyways, this is, uh, so we've got everything set up now and uh, we've reflashed the tarantula. We got the right settings for the motor, the bed size, so we do can do the homing. And so we should be pretty much all set. And I'm gonna home things again. And there you go. I'm gonna to have to adjust the bed. I, I changed. Uh, I haven't uh, recentered since I've done the uh, washer video. Anyways, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. If you got questions, hit me up below. Again, I'll put links to all this down below to the Arduino site. Um, 
and everything so you can get the uh, 1.6.8 for this again i'd recommend facebook uh for the um, current Marlo marlin download for this and again if you got any questions hit me up below and hey hopefully this helped cheers click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects